Today, I'm going to be doing a little product demonstration of the Graycell 100 watt solar panel. The solar panel is pretty neat because it has adjustable legs, and I believe that the legs can be adjusted two separate ways, so you can make sure that it's hitting the sun directly. Besides that, once you open it, as you can see, very good quality texture all around. The back of it is covered with fabric, and then the corners are rounded out edges so this way it doesn't hit anything if we flip it over to the other side these are where the legs are and then there's a little pocket here where they have wires included once you open this up you'll notice that this cable is connecting directly to the solar panel and then they also give you anderson cables that you can connect to your solar generator which i've conveniently brought over so this way we can test this thing out and as an fyi this is my first time ever testing this out. So with that being said, let's get started and see what this thing can do. Let's plug this into that. And then this will plug into this. And now we have our Anderson cable, which will plug into our solar panel, into our solar generator. But first, the sun is right above us. I think the first position we'll try out is all the way back and see how that works for us. All right, there we go. As you can see, the sun is pointing directly at us. And so I think this right here is, is a good position. And the other cool thing is that they give you additional plugs. So if the Anderson cables are not good for you, then this could be used for other devices such as Blue Eddy, Jackery, and similar devices. So let's plug this in for the first time and see what's what. Right now we're at 59% going to plug in the Anderson cables. And there we go. So at the moment, I'm getting 65 watts, 70 watts, 78, 80, 87, 91, 96. Wow, it went all the way up to 96 and now it reset. Let me bring the camera over to show you guys. But I like this, very efficient. So here's what we're looking at here. So right now, it's pulling in 91 watts. Hopefully it's clear and you guys can see that. Now it's pulling 93, so it's getting anywhere between 91 to 93 watts at the current rate. I think the position that I have it in right now seems to be the most efficient because 93 watts is unbelievable. I have solar panels on my roof and if they were tilted a little bit, I can get the most out of them. So the good news is that with something like this, you can adjust the legs to get the most sun captured directly into the solar panel. And this way, your items are being charged really quickly. Now, if my figures are correct, 93 watts is somewhere around 9 amps going directly into your solar charger. So depending on how big your solar charger is you could probably get that thing charged up in a matter of a couple of hours but the good news is that you can bundle this up so if one solar panel is not good enough for you then what you can do is you can get an additional y cable because uh, this doesn't come with an mc4 y cable but you can buy one on amazon or wherever and connect multiple solar panels in series or in parallel so this way you can get more juice into your solar charger but anyway 93 watts going directly into my unit I think that's pretty efficient and I highly recommend this. So if you guys are interested, there's going to be a link down below.